celebration of a great summer I'm having. Angel, thanks for doing this. K-Rock, thanks for putting all this together. This is great. I'm having a great summer. I went to uh, I went to Lollapalooza recently. Yeah, yeah. Did you guys go? Did you guys go see that? Did you go all three days? Did you go one day? All three days. Dedicated. Yeah, I went to, uh, on Saturday night, on the Saturday, uh, Rage Against the Machine was the headliner. Did you go to that show or did you go see Wilco? Both. Oh, you went to both? Wow, oh, really? You're fucking professional, girl. Damn. I went, I saw you. Yeah, I went to go see Rage Against the Machine because I can't roll like you do, sister. But, uh, and like, you know, you know, I've seen them before. They put on a really good show. So I was like, I want to get close, not too close. My one boy, though, he was like, nah, man, let's get in there. And I was like, all right. So we get in there, and we're pretty close. And, you know, Rage comes out, and people just start going nuts. Like, ah! I mean, like, to have a good time, they're yelling the word, Rage, 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 Rage. And you're like, fuck. You know, and it's just like going. And it gets so crazy, so out of control at one point, that Zach De La Rocha has to stop the show. Has to stop the show three times. Three times he's got to be like, people, brothers and sisters, please, tonight must be about peace. Please, let's respect ourselves. Respect the person next to you. Please, let's stop hurting ourselves. Don't injure each other. Take care of the person next to you. We want to have a good time tonight. Can we agree on that, brothers and sisters? Can it be about peace tonight? Thank you very much. This next song is called The Bullet in Your Head. Can it be about peace tonight? Can it be about peace tonight? Take care of the one you're next to. This next song is called Killing in the Name of. All right, brothers and sisters, can it be about peace tonight? This next song is called Punch That Scared Ass Pussy Right There. Cause he just don't know what he got himself into. I got out of that situation very quickly. <laughs> man, oh man. Woo. Oh, what, man, what, are the, uh, what else is going on? Hey, you know what? Uh, I'm, I'm a grown man, you know, I'm, I'm cool. <laughs> when, <laughs> when we see each other, like when we say hi to each other, I'm okay if we, you know, we say hi, or you, you can say what up, and that's cool. You're gonna give me, hey, what's up, Rick? Boom, and the chest bump, solid. We can end it right on that. I, uh, I really don't want to like do like the handshake and this and then the chest bump and then let's throw some shit up Rick and then bring it back and then come in with the knuckle explosion and come <laughs> I don't have time for all that. I really I don't want to do that no more, okay? I'm not that creative, you know? Like I like dude, once the, once the knuckle explosion happens, I'm like, oh shit man, I gotta top that. Alright. Boom! Yeah, there's a fire now! Oh, oh. Here comes a fire truck! Yeah. It's gonna blow all that fire down right there! Yeah, yeah, get that out of here! And look, oh, there's people watching over here! Oh, shit! It's Mookie from Do the Right Thing! He's upset! Oh. oh, man! Ah, what else has been going on, beautiful people? Uh, you know, I like breasts. I enjoy breasts very much, so I'm a, I'm a big fan of titties. If I can be very ignorant for a second, I love titties. I do. I love them. That's another reason I love the summer, because titties are out. I love titties. Man, if the moon were made out of titties, I'd be an astronaut. You know what I'm saying? That's how much I, I love boobilies. Lesson, though, uh, girls don't like it when you say titties or boobilies. So, that's where that puts me. Fuck. I thought it was like this part comes out, but no, the whole thing, huh? I've said that before. Hey, ho! Oh! <laughs> right. Don't touch that. I've heard that before. Hey, hey! Ah, uh, shit. Uh, I got divorced recently. Yeah, I did. That was awesome. Yeah. Here's what, here's the thing, though. Like, you know, I got divorced, and you know, it's emotional, and women. God bless you. You're beautiful people. You are, cause you know you, I tell you know I tell lady my lady friends that I got divorced and very empathetic and right there like oh that's terrible Ricky I'm sorry and just you know willing to let me you know lay my head on their shoulder like my guy friends you know my boys I tell them I got divorced and 
They act like you're getting the band back together again. <laughs> Bro, you got divorced? What time? <laughs> Was that right? We're going to the club tonight, son. Son, we're going to the club. We're going to the club. And I don't want to seem like a pussy or nothing, so I'm just standing there crying like, yeah, we're going to the club. <laughs> <laughs> This is hot. Yeah, you should go holla at that girl over there. You should do that. Oh man. I've been really uh I've been really locking myself in my uh in my place and just like watching like TV shows and shit. Like I just like like the wire. I just, who here wa anybody here watch the wire? God damn! I call, I'm not bullshitting. On Monday, I called into work and I, 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 I was sick. But what I was actually doing, I was being a professional. I watched the whole season five of The Wire in one day. Damn! Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Man, I, I was, I was fiending for that thing. Like fiending. Like, I mean, I don't know how. Like, if you all get like addic addicted to TV shows, but like, I was like, uh, like, a, like, a, like a crackhead junkie. You know, like going to, like going to Blockbuster. Like, hey man, you, uh, uh, yeah, you, you, you got that. You got that Wire season two, bro? You got that Wire season two? No, no, no. T talking to my friends about it, like, hey, man, you should pick up that shield, son. That shit is hot. Pick that shit up, dude. That shit is hot. We well, come over to my place, man. We'll close the blinds and shit. And we'll watch that light from that TV, bro. Watch that shit burn all night, son. All night. <laughs> uh, Renee was talking about her dog. I have a dog as well. I love my, I love my animal. But she, like, upset me the other day. I came home. And she shit in the house. And, you know, I was upset, but that's what dogs do. But I like walked out of my house to like go throw the shit away, and my neighbor was out there, and, I was, and she was like, what, "What what happened?" Oh, my dog shit in the house. Oh, why did she do that? I hate when people forget that dogs are just like animals. <laughs> Every once in a while, they do some you know animalistic shit. It's like. She, she, why she shouldn't, why, why did she shit in the house? I don't know, you know what? That's a brilliant question. I'll go ask her since she did it. Well, you know, no, 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 let me see what she has to say. Let me see what she, JB, JB, hey girl, hey JB. JB, why'd you shit in the house? Why'd you shit in the house, baby? Okay, all right, well, I'll be right back, I'll be right back. Hey, I asked her and she just licked her ass and asked me where my half of the rent was. <laughs> so I guess that's why she did it, because I'm behind on my rent again. <laughs> Has it been time then? How long have I been up here? What the fuck? I'm sick of myself at this point. Yeah. Fuck this thing, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Fuck it. Fuck it. Oh, man. What else is going on? How about we do this? And then I give it a nice Hulk Hogan leg drop. Yeah. No, I'm not going to do that. Uh, hey, Barack Obama announced he's running for president today. Who saw that? <laughs> Holy shit! Are you kidding? He's running for president! Fucking A! Unbelievable! Unbelievable! Barack Obama, quite possibly the only politician who can be given a speech and in the middle of his speech stop and give a shout out to somebody in the crowd. Did you see his speech today? He was like, you know, and that's why I, I believe this America is this. I believe this America is that. I believe this America is this. Somebody's like, I love you, Obama. I love you too, girl. I love you too. I love you too. If we get on a energy consumption system, then I was, I was like, motherfucker, you are slick. That should be your campaign slogan. He did fuck up once, though. He said, when he announced Joe Biden, he said, and that's why I want to introduce the next president, whoops, the next vice president. Did you guys see that? Did you see that? When he said that, I was like, what the fuck are you doing? Somebody edit that somehow. Somebody get that out there. Uh, hey, this is fun. Angel, you're the best. We love you. We're going to miss you. My name is Ricky. Have a good night.